Hello everyone and welcome to the GMS Magazine channel. I am Paco Garcia, your host, and this is the GMS RPG Academy, the show in which I give you my insights as a writer, a publisher, and a player, a GM, a convention attendee, and, well, general RPG geek. Today I want to talk to you about something that I, I talked about and it was inspired by the utterly wonderful and wondrous Monica Valentine, uh, somebody I respect immensely and I love just as much. She was mentioning about being a pro or being a semi-pro. And we both agreed. Semi-pro is bullshit. If somebody tells you, oh, you're just a semi-pro, that is bullshit. You cannot be a semi-pro. What does that mean? That you're only a pro part of the time? The only part of your work is pro and the other is amateur? What does, what does that even mean? That you're a semi-pro? That does, does that mean that you don't do this on a full-time basis, as in publishing games or writing? You know, most of the people in the industry don't do this on a full-time basis. This is something that people do on the side. Even well-published people do this on the side. So, no, you cannot be a semi-pro. That is some bullshit excuse that people have invented to pay you less. And that is freaking wrong. Okay, just because you have a job, and you may publish perhaps one book a year or less, it doesn't matter. You are a professional if you do things like professionals do. And maybe that is something that should be redefined. Maybe that is something that we should look into and decide this is professional, this is not professional. Because I swear that I have seen work by people who consider themselves to be amateurs that is way, way higher and better and more professional than people that, who consider themselves to be professional. So the semi-pro is rubbish. You're either a pro or you're not. But you cannot say, oh, for this project I am a pro. Oh, for this project I am an amateur. Rubbish. Complete and utter rubbish. If you do things like a professional, you deserve to be paid and treated like a professional. If you are an amateur, you deserve and be treated like a professional. Because come on, come on. Amateurs do incredible work too. Just because you're unknown doesn't mean that you deserve any less. Doesn't mean that your work is less valuable. And yes, you may need to take on some gigs for less money because you're not as known and you want to get your name out there. That doesn't mean that you're not a professional. That doesn't mean that you're a pro on a part-time basis. That you're semi-pro. That you don't quite reach the level of pro bullshit. Sorry, I am very passionate about this. That is bullshit. Don't let people treat you like that. You don't deserve that. You're doing good work. You're a pro. That is it. That is it. Thank you very much indeed for watching um please leave me your comments down there because i love to hear what you have to say and uh, until the next time i will talk to you very very soon take care